Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are currently diving into everything that has been happening with Rich Lux, Eugenia Cooney, Jeffree Star, and Jesse and Lily. And we just watched Jesse and Lily's uh, podcast, uh, the clips where they were talking about their opinion on what has been happening. I wanted to allow everyone to have their say and, and kind of give my opinion on everyone's say and kind of not speak for anyone. And now we have Rich Lux's response. Now, this is a two hour long video. You can watch the entire thing on Rich Lux's channel. You can go over and subscribe and watch the entire thing on Rich's channel. Um, we're kind of going to skip around this a little bit to kind of get an overall overarching point. If you want to watch the entire thing, you can go to Rich's channel. And let's do it. So, yes, this is Rich's response to Jesse and Lily. It's called I Can't Believe This, Eugenia Cooney. And let's get to it. Okay, first of all, I'm so upset right now about what I just saw. I just got through watching this irrelevant podcast called Do We Know Them? And once again, once again, Jesse Smiles mentions my name. She just can't have, she just can't keep my name out of her mouth. Every time she mentions me in the video. Rich Luck, you're spineless, and you have no moral compass whatsoever. This is Rich Lux's coverage of it. Does he have the exclusive? Of course. It's always trash talking me that Rich Lux needs to be this deplatformed. First of all, who are you to judge, Jesse? Who are fuck you, Jesse? That's what I want to say to you. Fuck you, Jesse. Because you sure had a lot to say about me in this recent podcast and the last one you made about me. It's like every time you mention my name, you always just trash talk me and bring me down. Whoa! You talk about mental mental health. Whoa! I was not. I was not expecting that. This is a live stream. Hey, I was not expecting this to begin like this. Okay, we're we're in for we're in for a production tonight. I was not that we were okay. I <laughs> I was not that we were aware. Zaylee, that's fine. I love you, baby. Um, I was not expecting. That's a woo. Okay. What about my mental health, Jesse? Fuck you. You made this podcast talking about Eugenia Cooney and how so many influencers are using her for views and you want to sit up there on your fucking moral high ground when you are literally making a one hour video about Eugenia Cooney profiting off of her? So you want to talk about me profiting off Eugenia Cooney, Jeffree Star profiting off Eugenia Cooney and all these other influencers who make videos and talk about her but yet you're somehow exempt from the whole entire situation? You made a one hour podcast, Jesse. You made a one hour podcast talking about Eugenia Cooney, which you monetize and make money off of. And you want to sit up there and say, well, everyone who, asso who associates themselves with Eugenia just needs to be deplatformed. The amount of jealousy that you had in this video for me, it's really telling. That Your mask is starting to slip, Jesse. And when I'm booked for BeautyCon and when I'm booked event in the future and I see you, I will walk up to you, Jesse, and I will say, fuck you, Jesse. So when you Okay. A little off topic point. I did see that Dan dressed up as Rich Lux. <laughs> I did see that. Um, and I saw that Olivia was. Um, Miranda. Olivia had sent me a DM and was like, is this okay for me to do? <laughs> um, besides the point, Rich, I love this top. <laughs> I love this top. <laughs> I really wish I had known that this top existed because I would wear I would have worn this tomorrow night, tucked into like black trousers, fake blood on my face. Damn it. <laughs> I love this top. You see me walking towards you, be prepared, because that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say, fuck you, Jesse. Because you don't even know me, and you sure have a lot to say about me like you do. You don't even follow me on Instagram, posting your kid, your own kid on your Instagram for views and clicks. You know how many people message me, Jesse, receipts on your ass? You want to talk about me? What about the receipts? I have receipts on you from here to the fucking moon. Do, do you want me to go there? I've never talked about you. I don't like you. I can care less about you. There's only two people I don't like. Yolanda, because she murdered Selena, and Jesse Smiles. Fuck you, bitch. You're going to sit up there and say that I need to be deplatformed? And, and, you know what my and then and then she wants to go on there and talks about how much money I make. That's how I feel about like rich lux. Go on live by yourself, get your thousands of dollars on top of the millions you already have, because why not? And then in the next sentence say, well, it's not about the money, it's not about the money. It's like you really are watching. You are a hater, Jesse. You are a straight up hater. People are trying to help Eugenia Cooney behind the scenes, and your whole entire video is like, well, I don't know, just speculation. Well, I don't really know about that. Your video added no value. You are literally on TikTok watching my TikToks and making a video talking about my TikToks in my videos and saying, oh, I, just, I can't stand Rich Lux. Did Rich Lux get the exclusive? Oh, of course Rich Lux got the exclusive. Oh, I can't stand Rich Lux. But let's watch it. Really, Jesse? So I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to watch your video, since you've put a lot of my videos in your videos. And we're going to... Okay. Um, I'm going to take this point by point. I'm going to take this point by point. Um... I mean, Rich says there, you know, you're making videos of people here are trying to help Eugenia behind the scenes. Um, I assume Rich is talking about Jeffrey there because um, obviously Rich and Eugenia are not like in person, whereas Jeffrey's, you know, like more behind the scenes and stuff. Um, I wouldn't say from what I just watched on Jesse and Lily's podcast that Jeffrey Star is helping behind the scenes. I will be honest. Um, I don't even think that's an exaggeration. I just think that that's a flat out non-truth um but again i'm gonna take this point by point point by point 
going to talk about it. Upsetting. Oh my god, I have so many thoughts about this. And that is yeah. about Eugenia Cooney. And fun because I think this is so fucking disgusting, upsetting. Oh my god, I have so many thoughts about this. And that is yeah. about Eugenia Cooney. And you have so many thoughts about this, but never once did you realize that what you're saying in this video totally contradicts your beliefs in this video. Before we even, I mean, I know your mind's like again because not us, but like. And I feel so sorry for her co-host, Lily. Lily, this it's like an echo. Lily. Oh my god, Lily's catching lashings too. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, like Lily adds nothing to this podcast either. It's like an echo chamber of yes, a proper podcast is gonna have a good cop, bad cop. Jesse said something, Lily will contradict it. Well, you know, let's look at it this way. It's not that. It's during the same regurgitated opinion the whole entire time. There is no bounce back. There is no tennis. No one's bouncing the ball from each other. It's just what Jesse says goes, and Lily's just like, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. It's like I hope you're getting paid enough to be a yes man, Lily, because I heard James Charles is looking for another yes man. Oh, don't even get me started on the receipts on Lily. Don't even. Do not. Do not. The internet collectively always talks about Eugenia. Like, she has been a very, very strong talking point on the internet. If you don't know Eugenia's backstory, honestly, all you have to do is YouTube Eugenia Cooney. There's no shortage of content there. Like, there's tons and tons of deep dives and people looking into pretty much every aspect and every controversy she's ever been in. We'll basically give you a very, very brief synopsis. Like, we don't need that. You literally just said, well, the internet already knows about Eugenia Cooney. Eugenia Cooney's been on the internet for over 10 years. I've been on the internet for over 10 years. Why are we going through this all over again? Eugenia Cooney, she knows what she's doing. She is a person of sound mind and makes her own decisions. And what you fail to understand, Jesse, is that no one can help Eugenia Cooney but Eugenia Cooney. If you know anyone who struggles with mental health, if you know anyone who struggles with addiction, so their sobriety issues, relapsing, no one can help that person but that person. All you can do is be there for them, encourage them, send love, positivity. This video is damaging. You did nothing good. You literally told your platform that I need to be off the internet and de-platform. That's against terms of service on YouTube. Are you serious? Are you serious? Like, whatever hate boner that you have for me, it's, you know what it's giving? It's giving, like, uh, she sits on TikTok and she watches me and she's like, why does Rich Let's get all the views? And then she talks. Okay, two points here. Again, I'm going to be as just taking this as it comes. Number one, Rich saying that they are saying about other creators making videos about Eugenia and using Eugenia and then making an entire podcast about her and, you know, profiting off of that is a valid point. That's a valid point from Rich. Rich saying that Eugenia is of sound mind and no one will help her except for her contradicts his previous point of saying that, you know, people behind the scenes here are trying to help. So, I mean, I'm just taking this point by point. <laughs> I'm taking this point by point. This is crazy. Talks about and complains about me getting all the views on her podcast. It's such a hater. You're such a fucking hater. I just, I can't stand you. And I will be seeing a lot less of you in the future, Jesse. You are literally trash, all right? And you have called me so many names on your podcast. You have affected my mental health and you want to sit up there and trash me, talk about Eugenia Cooney's body under the guise of, oh, I, I really don't want to talk about Eugenia body, but she's very skinny. Like, you're, you're telling us stuff that we already know. You're telling Eugenia, Eugenia Cooney things she already sees in her podcast in her TikTok every single day. It, the whole podcast that you made today was so irrelevant, you did not even need to make it. You made it for the views. You added no value. You wanna talk about clicks and views and how Rich Loves gets all the clicks and views? This podcast right here, Jesse, this podcast right here. You made it for clicks and views. Off the backs of Eugenia Cooney and to sit up there and say, oh, well, the whole thing is just so sad. Girl, stop. Her and then go into I mean, but as creators, specifically ones that cover news stories, I mean, we cover news stories as they come and go in the media, and therefore all of us could be accused of doing things for clicks and views. Because at the end of the day, that's, unless you're making a, a, a vlog that you wanna make for funsies, that's, you know, what as creators you, you do. Like you make content for clicks and views because that means that the clicks and views are your audience who want to see that video. So, I mean, the, the same point, you know, could be made about this video, and then you can make the point that he's making a response video. This is on all in on all behalfs. This is very. I've never seen anything like this before. Present day, and why we're talking about her today? Because I do feel like even though we talk about Jeffrey Star and things quite a bit, I mean not like a ton, but we've talked about him enough, and nothing happens. Like he just continues on his little fucking lives. Right there, makes so upset. She's so upset that she cannot stop Jeffree Star. He continues on with this effing, and then her, her co-host is like, like, do I say anything? Like, literally adds nothing. Like, well, you know, people do love him. He has a fan base. Like, nothing. You're a fucking hater, girl. When people send him, like, lions and shit, I'm like, do you guys know he's a fucking millionaire? Like, no, I don't know what that means. How much money is that? Like, $400. Oh, she knows. Oh, she knows. Yes, oh, one she knows. Yes. And he gets one, like, every single day. I don't know. I guess they want to see his reaction. They want to make sure because he's being sent so many gifts. Even the smaller ones really add up. They want to... I want to stop it right there. In this video, she's going to be talking about a lot of money. It's like she's sitting there and jealous that people are sending TikTok creators hundreds of dollars. Like, she's just, she's like, I just can't believe it. The whole thing is weird to me. It's just so weird. I just don't understand. 
I mean, this is this is this is something I, I made when uh, the point I made when we watched Jesse and Lily. I was concerned whenever I brought up about Jeffrey and you know people sending him gifts that you know it would be deemed as me being jealous or something. And I can promise you that me saying, oh, people are, you know, sending Jeffrey so many gifts and stuff. I can promise you that in no way is that me saying that in um, a jealous way whatsoever. It's me saying it in a, oh, that's why Jeffrey is continuing to, you know, exploit people he's around or whatever because he's getting money off of it. I mean, you can agree to disagree with me, but I would say that that's not me saying something that I'm jealous of Jeffrey for. I mean, it's just an observation. Like, I mean... Oh my gosh, this woman gives me a headache. I cannot stand her. And at no point in her video does she ever say, do not send any hate to Rich Lux. It's just our opinion. Do not send any hate to Eugenia Cooney. Do not send any hate to Eric Starr. It's just like she really, she, you can just really tell that it went from just reporting the news to this is personal. Like this is personal, Jesse. What you are saying in this podcast is not just you reporting the news. It's personal. Like you can tell you're obviously upset that people are passing you up in views, that creators are making more money than you, and you're just struggling to keep up. I mean, I'm just hands down, I'm just saying. And the only reason I found out about this, I don't watch their channel, I gotten tons, tons of messages on TikTok. And they're like, did you see this? You see her talking about you? See, oh my gosh, look, look what she's saying. How dare she? Thank you. How dare you, Jesse? You want to sit up here and paint this picture that you know me? We've never met. We never talk on the phone. Never once you ever get to know me. Never. Out of the 10 years I've been on the internet, you never want to reach out and, hey, girl, what's going on? Like, I, what do you think? Can I get a statement? Like, nothing. Like, nothing. And then she says that I'm a bad journalist, which I never said I was a professional journalist, but you. Uh, I live. Okay, that's interesting that he made that point because. I said in in whenever I was watching their video, I was like, oh, well, I don't think Rich would ever call himself a journalist. That was something that I did disagree with Jesse and Lily on, where I was like, I don't think Rich would ever call himself a journalist. Um, so, I mean, he agrees with me on that point. Hey, Rich, we agree on that point. I'm so upset, you guys, and never, never do I make videos like this where I'm calling out this person and I'm, and I'm cussing, never. You know I'm upset. Jesse, fuck you, Jesse. You're trash. Here we go. Make sure that they're like noticed or something. I don't fucking know, but it pisses me off so bad. Ugh, Do you know why? You know why? Uh, you, you know why it pisses you off, Jesse? Because like, you'll never achieve that. Version, That's why. Hard. Honestly, I'm not super familiar with her backstory, aside from the fact that we have actively chosen not to cover her because the main. I'm gonna stop it here again. To cover such a serious, delicate topic, and then I don't, I really don't know anything about this. I just don't know anything about this. And the, and she's already leading in. Jesse's leading in with money. All right, just already. This is the pattern of behavior you're gonna see with Jesse again. All right. Just watch. Just keep watching, guys. Just keep watching. Here we go. Concern with her is for trigger warning. If you don't know who Eugenia Cooney is, she has received a lot of backlash and also equal parts, I would say, concern for, I don't even know how many years now, but several, for being a content creator that has a very obvious ED and denies having one and says that she's fine. And there's been, like, petitions to get her off the internet because people think that it's a really horrible... I don't even know how to describe it because it's so... Yeah, there's a lot there. Like, you, you feel so bad, but then you're also, like, you know, she's putting herself out there for millions of people to see and you don't know what kind of effect that's having on the people watching. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is that she's a mixture as well of a content creator, so making content unrelated to her ED, despite her appearance being very obviously concerning to a lot of people. And it's not just like how people come for like Lily. What is he doing? It's not that. It's like <laughs> something's happening. Like literally, you are skin and bone. It's not like speculation. No, it's, it's like there's something wrong. There is. Like there is no way that someone would be this thin without having an ED, which she obviously has. No, no. When you see said there's someone who be this thin without obviously having an ED, there are cancer patients who get that thin. There are people who are really sick with other illnesses other than ED, Jesse, that get that thin. Okay, and I'm not defending Eugenia Cooney. I'm not defending Jeffree Star. They could defend themselves. I never defend myself. Let me defend myself. And let me speak up for me. Because you sure had a lot to say about me in this podcast and other podcasts you mentioned me before. And I've been quiet this whole time, but it's a new motherfucking day, Jesse. It has to so be, I mean, I can't, basically like pulling teeth. I can't stand you. I literally, I cannot stand Jesse. I okay, I mean, in fairness, Lily did bring up the argument that, you know, she has a chronic illness, I think it was, that, you know, has made, you know, her spiral into depression and, and, lose a lot of weight or whatever um i mean they did bring that point up um god this is so messy what is going on i cannot she's like that girl in high school that is so jealous of all the other pretty girls are like very much and i also do think it's important to note that eugenia in the shane dawson videos did speak about you know eds and stuff so she's like that jealous high school girl that like she very much gives me that vibe to get her to even admit that she had a problem but that was when she was in recovery when shane dawson and god forbid lily goes against her oh god forbid Y'all just duck and hide. God forbid. What a monster. And did his little documentary on her. You know, she basically knew she had a problem because she... Right there. It's it's the undertone of, of jealousy and shade that Shane Dawson did his little, little documentary about her. That documentary got, what, 30 million views? Was it okay, I have to disagree with Rich here. Jesse and Lily saying Shane's little documentary, I don't take that as diminishing the views. We're all aware that the video got so many views. That's why Shane Dawson did it. The little documentary means... It served no purpose. It did more damage than good. The documentary specifically 
created a negative connotation with Eugenia Cooney from recovery and putting her so into the the platform of what Shane Dawson did after she had gone to rehab and like the little documentary to me was never them diminishing the views or whatever. It was diminishing the overall point of the documentary. Maybe just lost in translation. That video that Shane Dawson did on Eugenia Cooney, the documentary, will get more views and you'll probably make this entire year, girl. Like for you to sit there and that little, it's stuff like that that people don't see. And I'm clocking at the house, girl. I'm sitting there, I'm clocking it. Here we go. go to a facility and very briefly was in remission from her ED and then relapsed worse than ever to the point that I look at her and I'm like, how does everything, like, how does it not hurt to exist? Like literally like just pain because you see people talking about it who have had really severe EDs. I've had an ED when I was in high school, but- oh, Mind you, I want to say this. She makes a, a one hour, 11 minute video trash talking me, Jeffree Star, Eugenia Cooney, this whole entire video. She talks about the police, but funny enough, she'll lead in with money, Eugenia Cooney, me, Jeffree Star, and then she gets to the police. Like you don't really care. Because if you really care about Eugenia Cooney and the audience knowing what's going on, you would have led the first part of, the, of this podcast with the police statement. Like you literally would have done that. But you didn't do that. Because it's about the clicks and the views for you, for you Jesse. It is. Okay. You're telling us stuff that we already know. You are just I mean, to add a little bit of perspective, I mean, I took them opening with money. And I, again, this is just my perspective and nothing against Rich, and I genuinely mean that. I took them opening it with money to kind of show that this is the the motive behind it like money is what's driving all of this in videos that you see on tiktok and reacting to them we already know this we already know that eugenia cooney is a skinny girl and dances on tiktok and is laughing and smiling we already know that like the fact that you're regurgitating this is for clicks and views come on because no one's going to click on this video you know how hard it is for me to explain to someone what the hell a eugenia cooney is you know how hard it is for me to explain to someone in everyday life what the hell a jeffree star is no you don't all right nowhere near as severe and i never actually got into any like physical pain from it but people say that if you get thin enough you actually do get physical pain like it hurts to sit and then they say oh that's why you is always shaking you know what i mean because she's sitting on bone there's no fat and barely any muscle i mean i didn't even actually think about that aspect of it yeah 100 but then and jesse in his podcast she's gonna always go to the extreme she's gonna always say there is no like middle ground or being nice it's just the extreme of just negativity and toxic like i'm oh, just looking at her you just tell it hurts oh she's when she sits down it just hurts I and mean, that's what people say i, mean, I don't know it's a lot of that. It's a lot of, I don't know. I feel bad. I'm not sure. It's a, what, you'll, you'll, you'll clock it too, girl. Also, she's also clearly not getting the nutrients that you would need, that everything would not be functioning the way it should be because she's not feeding her body mm. to do it. I want to add again, as we continue to listen to, never once did she say, we reached out to Eugenia Cooney for content. Never once is there like a heartfelt message directed at her. Like, Eugenia, if you're watching this, like nothing, like this is a safe space. We're here to help. Like nothing. It's just, just blatant to spew it out. Like she... You want to talk about using people for clicks and views, and you're going to talk about someone that you never even reached out to or spoke to about Eugenia Cooney for clicks and views. But yet look down on everyone else who actually, I can literally pick up my phone and text Eugenia Cooney or call if I want it. If I want it. I, I can't. But you will sit here and pass judgment. Like, who are you to judge, Jesse? You're not. I know that there's also been speculation of like... I mean, in not picking anyone's side here, in, in kind of like putting everyone on the same pedestal here it just i feel like we've seen this time and time again where it's like the conversation with eugenia just turns into people fighting like haven't we seen this time and time again like we we have just seen this where the conversation will start with someone calling something out to do with eugenia and then it turns into like a, a, a social media fight, whether it's on Reddit, Twitter, YouTube comments, Twitch, whatever. Maybe she has like an illness or something. Maybe it isn't an eating disorder. And I'm not here to say she has this or she- Watch, watch how they tap dance around this. Just watch it right here. Here we go. Eugenia Cooney has never said that she had an illness. She has never said that she struggles with ED like that. But here, here, watch it. Here we go. Wait, um, hold on. I, I do just want to fact check that. Je vais, tu vas, il va, Eva, nous avons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Je vais, tu vas, il y va, Eva, nous avons, vous allez, ils vont, elles vont. Okay. Um, I've never heard you say a that you like have or had a problem, okay. and b what it is. Okay. Yeah. So I think maybe starting there, if mm -hmm. that's not too hard. Yeah, I think that I think that should be okay. Um, so yes, um, I was like dealing with an eating disorder. Um, it's for like, I guess like late. Okay, Rich. I, I know something is wrong. No, I think that that's completely debunkable in my personal opinion because of the fact that she is very adamant and there's so much video proof of her saying there's nothing wrong with me. Like I am not here promoting anything or doing anything. Like I'm perfectly healthy. I'm perfectly fine. I'm happy, guys. Like she'll sit there. Eugenia Cooney will sit here 
and stare at the camera, go live for hours, and just talk to the camera and not address anything about her weight, her ED. But then you have people on the opposite spectrum, Amberlynn Reed, Foodie Beauty, who else we got here? Come on, um, Nigga Cotto Avocado, who talk about their weight, who engage in their weight. But yet, she's not talking about them. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a tunnel vision of just negativity and toxicity in this entire podcast. Nobody worry, and that is not talk of someone who is chronically ill or has like a terminal illness. That is someone who is denying an ED. Yeah, and like as someone that gets, I mean, not as much anymore, but like it's gotten a lot of comments in the past about people thinking I have an eating disorder, which I do not, absolutely not. That has never been a thing. I have been very open then in saying like, I first of all didn't lose as much weight as people claim that I did and they're dramatic. But then also I have been very upfront about like, I have had chronic pain and I've, had, I've been like depressed about it and like had mental health things that like there's other reasons that you can get skinny besides having an eating disorder. So I think if literally- God forbid someone sits here and talks about, makes a whole one hour podcast about Lily's weight loss and how thin she looks. She doesn't look healthy to me. I just never make a one hour podcast. Lily does not look healthy to me in this podcast. I can see her bones and her face. She doesn't look healthy to me, but yet that's, that's rude if I say that. But it's okay for them to say that about Eugenia Cooney, right? Looking up there, looking like Laura Lee the house. The entire internet was coming at you saying you had an eating disorder and you didn't, and it was because of another reason. I don't know why. Like, I, I literally thought it was super private about. I thought it was Laura Lee for a second. When I was like, Laura Lee has another damn podcast, are you serious? I'm not. Yeah. And I don't want this to come across like I, I want to be very clear of our intention here. We're right. not like you're going to pick her body. We're not. I just, I like, I just don't ever like, it's just so unproductive. Like, okay, so Rich doesn't like that they're saying that Eugenia looks like she has an eating disorder. So Rich will say that Lily looks like she has an eating disorder. Like, it's so unproductive. Like, it's really, really, really unproductive. It's just unproductive. Like, I understand Rich is coming from a defensive point of view, but when, when you're coming at this defending Eugenia, like, to then, like, say that about Lily is just kind of like, oh. I hear you pick her body. You just, you literally just made dissecting about how it hurts for her to sit, how you think it hurts for her to sit, but we're not here to pick her body. You, you see the contradiction, the contradiction and the hypocrisy of your podcast? Then don't even bring it up, Jesse. Don't even bring it up. Shut up. Ian, that's not why we're talking about this. I, at all. Like, this is a genuine number one concern of her state at this current point in time and also other creators. You don't care. You don't care. You're acting like you care. You're acting like you have some type of sympathy and empathy for it. Just refusing clicks. You don't care. You have never made Eugenia Cooney videos long as this until today. I have, I've been on live streams with Eugenia Cooney for hours on TikTok. I have talked to Eugenia Cooney on the phone, personally behind the scenes. I have interacted with Eugenia Cooney on Twitch. Like, that's how far, far back it goes. And for you to make this video now, now, it's self-serving. It's totally self-serving. And if you're just under the guise of, and you guys, this, we're not body shaming and nitpicking. We're not body shaming and nitpicking Eugenia Cooney. Okay, here we go. Oh my God, you see how skinny she looks? It hurts for her to sit. Do you see how bad that looks? Here we go. On this platform's involvement in it. And that's pretty much the catalyst. Okay, uh, two points here. I mean, to say that they're only making the video now is exploitative. I mean, they're only making the video now because of the fact that everything's happening with Jeffrey exploiting her. And he is. And he is. Um, now, Rich has made a point there rich said you know they are also criticizing her body like in in calling it out they're also saying you know oh she's so skinny that it will hurt her to sit like she is just bones when she sits and that's a valid point that rich made that's a valid point that rich made where it's like okay but you're also you know you're also degrading her body there right now you're doing it under on, on, to like highlight that she's really sick but you are making fun of her body there however rich lost the argument to me whenever he then made fun of lily's body but it's like yeah and i think that the people we're gonna be talking about absolutely like they need to face fucking repercussions whether it be i don't know being deplatformed on a certain level like i just genuinely feel like if you're using your platform to push someone and joke about where they're at when they're this close to their life ending you if you're using your platform to talk about eugenia cooney but yet you've never reached out you're it's, it's like holding a mirror to your face jesse are fucked like that is how i feel about this episode. again leaning back to the total it's just a, it's just negativity it's like well let me see it through this point of view or let me see it through that. it's none of that it's never like let me see it through this person's shoes it's like oh my god if you talk about eugenia cooney you are effed you're like literally you're, you need to be deplatformed you're effed very very passionate so it's not to be like oh my god eugenia this eugenia that although i will say she has had her fair share of controversy she's known as this really like positive light and like oh everything's fine and whatever there are moments and i have a couple of them where her mask like kind of slips and you like yours jesse like, like yours in this like, video bro everyone probably assumed but she is not Miss Perfect either. There is, I remember a situation with like one of her mods where her mo one of her mods was like a preying on the younger people in her Discord. Like there's been weird shit happening and she's not perfect. I'm not here to like talk about her past controversies, but she is a human. But let's talk about her past controversies. Like again, she's doing it again. 
this is a video about Eugenia Cooney possibly getting hailed. We're here to help. None of that. It's like, well, let's talk about the Discord drum, which I wasn't there for that. I don't know anything about that. But yet she does. Being, and she does have a very large platform that's getting even larger now on TikTok. Where is this going to end? I mean, I feel like we all know where it's going to end. And it's just concerning. And we're all watching it and just not knowing what we can do. I feel like that's most of her comments of people who are like, I'm scared. I don't know how to do anything. Like you see. No, that's not most of her comments. Just most of her comments is trolling her, leaving negative comments. You're so ugly. Your teeth are fake. Your teeth are falling out. Your hair is fake. Are you wearing a wig? Are you wearing a diaper? It's a lot of negativity. You totally missed the mark. And you sit here. Okay, Rich saying that actually most of her comments are making fun of her weight and, and you know, you're wearing a diaper, your teeth are falling out, your hair falling out, people doing it with the intent of not being helpful, but doing it in the intent of making fun of her. Um, That is also a valid point. That is most of Eugenia Cooney's comment section. He is telling the truth there. He is telling the truth there. That is what most of her comment section are like. There are a lot of people who are concerned, Um, but I think the the mainly the people that watch now are, are hate-watching and making fun of her body and there are a lot of people that would go in there and make fun of her weight and try tell her the opposite um but there's a, a lot here is being lost on me i'm gonna be honest here you make these videos like you know what you're talking about when you don't you're not active in the live streams watching your genius. you're not active in my life you're not active you're all you're going off of is these clips that get posted on social media on tiktok and you base your opinion off that clip without even seeing the full context of it Okay, he's talking about the clip there where Eugenia is pretending to like be like this and Rich is like I need to call the I need to call the cops. Oh my god, I need to call her mom and stuff. I don't need to see the context of that clip nor do I want to see it. It's it's a bad clip. It's a bad clip. Did that in a minute. Glenn who was friends with her and tried to get her into a you remember that whole thing? No. Oh my god. YouTuber Jacqueline Glenn who She leads a podcast such a serious thing. Do you remember that? No. Like nobody does any research in this video. Like nobody knows any re it's basically the Jesse show and Lily's is there to tag them along. Like you couldn't send her, like, hey, this is the thing we're gonna be talking about, watch these videos, like nothing. So watch carefully what she says here. Is a commentary style YouTuber, was friends with Eugenia Cooney. She got together with the therapist that Shane used to have, that kind of like a Katie Martin. Katie Martin. Jesus. She is of a real therapist. Okay. <laughs> Got involved with Eugenia Cooney and Jeffrey in the Shane Dawson documentary. And she's like, oh, Jesus. You're going to notice that these major players, anyone who tries to help Eugenia Cooney, Jesse just has a, a oh, oh, my God, I can't believe it. Katie Morton was not trying to help Eugenia Cooney, Rich. Sorry, I will. That's something that I, I, I could think that we could talk about. I mean, I would happily talk to you about that. Katie Morton was not someone that helped Eugenia Cooney in any way. Oh, my God. It's like, because it ain't you, girl. Why? Just watch. Interesting. She's not even, like, she's not at all qualified to talk about eating disorders. I think she's, like, a family counselor or, like, something like that. Like, she doesn't even, I don't know. She does, she's not qualified to do whatever Shane. If you watch the Shane Dawson documentary with Eugenia Cooney, Shane Dawson is asking Eugenia Cooney questions, and Katie Moore, the therapist, it flashes back to her, and she's giving very good advice as a therapist. So if you just say that. Kitty Morton was the one that told Jacqueline Glenn to basically 5150 Eugenia against her consent which therefore will make Eugenia Cooney associate getting help with being forced and not being able to trust her friends. Rich. Rich, I know that we like Jeffrey and I know that we like Shane. I know that you do, but I don't think there's anything wrong with like saying, you know, that whether you believe you're trying to help Eugenia, whether you think Jeffrey is, I don't think there's anything wrong with you acknowledging that Katie Morton is a bad, 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 bad influence on Eugenia Cooney's life. And specifically back then, did an awful, awful job. This and decredit her is alarming, Jesse. Again. Better do it, which is probably people's well, yeah, Shane's documentary was really not it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Jacqueline Glenn got together with her, and basically, gave, there was proof that Jacqueline Glenn showed that Katie Martin was supportive of Jacqueline Glenn basically having an intervention with her friends and trying to get help for Eugenia Cooney. And honestly, I fucking get it. Because, like, what? You're scared for your friend. And yeah. it turned into a disaster where the mom started freaking out. Well, that's a whole other era. Yeah, well, the mom is definitely in on all of this. And it was fucking crazy. Back you know, Eugenia Cooney's mom gets brought up a lot. And you are saying things that might be true or might not be true, but when it turns out not to be true, best believe I'm gonna make another video on you, Jesse, calling your ass out. And then basically Katie Martin turned on Jacqueline Glenn and was basically telling, like, on Eugenia's side. It was very, very weird. This was a whole, like, timeline. Of Again, she doesn't even know what she's talking about. She wasn't there. You are so obsessed with something that you know nothing about. Log off, Jesse. Just log off the internet, seriously, because you're making it worse. You are making the situation worse in this podcast. You added no value. Jacqueline Glenn, under the guise or geese of let's hang out, Eugenia Cooney, came out and ambushed her and called the police and threw her in the mental hospital. C come on. You don't do that. Someone who is physically sick. Or phys Wait, but Katie Morton was the one that told her, gave her the okay, Rich. Wait. 
You just said Katie Morton gives good advice and that Jacqueline Glam was wrong for... Katie Morton was the one that told her to do it. Ill ...or has an addiction or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is. You don't ambush them like that and send them to... A but Katie Morton, the therapist, told them to do it. ...mess with that person's mental health. They're, they're going to have trust issues now, which Eugenia Cooney does have because of Jacqueline Glam. And I already know that this is going to get screenshot this part. I'm not talking negatively on Jacqueline Glam. But Katie Morton was... Feel like do not send her any negative comments again with Jesse Fels. I would say, but Eugenia Cooney feels that that just wasn't the proper way to get her help. You don't ambush a friend and trick them after coming over to hang out, and then all of a sudden there's all these people here throwing in a van and take you to a 51 50 hole. Like, you know how that is that is insane. That is not okay. That is forcing your will onto someone. If someone wants to get help, they will seek the help themselves. And I'm not bashing Jacqueline Glenn. She did what she felt was right. Make sure you put that in there when you talk about me. She felt what she thought was right. Eugenia Cooney felt that it was wrong and they no longer speak. And it is what it is. And for Jesse to sit here, well, I don't know. If you see this, it's so weird. You see they're in on She's playing both sides. You don't know, Jesse. Stop. I missed. Okay. Well, I didn't miss it in real time, but we missed it because we didn't have this podcast. So that aside, there have been people who tried to help. As I said, like, people have done petitions. So they like, get yeah. off platforms and stuff. And I think it gets in a weird territory. And it doesn't ever work. Eugenia Cooney is still on the internet for the past 10 years. She will forever be online. Okay? Because you're like trying to deplatform someone for just like existing. She's not actively promoting EDs or well, something like that. Uh, it's not like her content. Listen, I don't think that she should be deplatformed because she has a severe ED. That's not. But you think that people who's around her should be? You're so ir you're so irritated. She should be deplatformed. I think she should be deplatformed because there is plenty of evidence, in my opinion, of her doing things that are troubling, like flashing the camera, like her underwear showing by accident, way too many. When she doesn't show it or blur it out, and nor does she ever show the video where Jeannie Cooney apologizes and explains what really happened. Again, always the extreme with Jesse. Times promoting EDs in the sense of not just how she looks, but she'll say things like, "Oh my God, like this sweater's just so big on me, guys, right? Like this one, like she'll talk about things or body." Constantly. Jesse, everything that she's saying, all these keywords that she picked up, like on a Reddit, that she picked up, like on a in a comment section. Anyone who sits on camera and was like, "You like the shirt?" Oh, that's problematic. Uh oh, I'm body checking. Like it's everything. You're just nitpicking Eugenia Cooney and making things worse. You added no value in this podcast, but to self serve yourself and your bank account. And we'll get to there in a minute. Show herself off in a manner, and it's like, dude, come on, what is this? Like, this isn't even just someone who's existing and has a severe ED. You're acting weird. I feel weird about the whole thing just because it's so. But they don't talk about it. Then don't talk about it. If you feel so weird and icky about the situation, don't engage. Don't watch. Don't give it any. A platform, like you call it. You're giving Jeannie Cooney a platform. Um, I mean, to be fair, I mean, Jesse and Lily did say that they were making the video because what they saw was making them so uncomfortable with other people enabling Eugenia. Does that mean that they're enabling Eugenia by making a video on her? No. Does that mean they're platforming Eugenia? Yes. But they're platforming her with intent. Like, you, yes, both Eugenia Cooney, or sorry, both Rich Lux and Jesse and Lily platform Eugenia Cooney. Fact. That is true. Do they platform her for different reasons? Yes. Yes. So yes, Rich is correct. They are platforming Eugenia Cooney. That is correct. However, they're not platforming Eugenia the same way Rich and Jeffrey are. There's different different like i'm platforming eugenia right now by talking about her like they're you, just because you're platforming someone doesn't mean that like it's all the same intent and it's the intent that they're calling out they're not calling out fully 100 percent just that you're platforming her they're also calling out the intent in which you're platforming her for you're giving me a platform. You're giving Jeffree Star a platform. I mean, what does this podcast have? Like 90,000 subscribers? You're giving this video, this podcast, whatever. Like, you're giving people a platform, but then you say that they're horrible people. They need to be taken off the internet. They're trash. They're this or that. But yeah, you're giving them a platform to do so. To monetize. To get views and clicks. Complicated because also, like, that is an illness. A severe one, yeah. Um, I do want to show a few things before we get into this, if you don't mind. Just um, kind of one video from mom that I'm like, ma'am. Please, for the love of God. Well, so, and one thing that was in Shane's docu, it was just one video or was it multiple? I think it was one. I don't know, he pointed it out. I think he did. Or if viewers did, but there were, like, locks on doors that were super sketchy looking. Again, that was addressed, but they don't show that either. If she was being locked into rooms or, like, locked into the house. Oh. And I know that even just recently, I saw a clip, and I don't know what it was from, but it was, like, something was really cool about the moon, and everyone in her life kept telling her to go look at it, and she tried to go outside, and her mom, like, wouldn't let her. Oh, they, they played the moon clip. <laughs> So in that clip, my opinions. Oh, he's going to say his opinion. Wait, what actually was the context of that clip? What was the context of that clip? 
he just said my, in my opinion so he's gonna say in his opinion did eugenia ever address that because that's that that is something that you can talk about like if there if that clip was ever addressed i would love to hear that because that is a very weird clip since jesse has so many in my opinion when i saw that clip again this is me i felt like oh she's trolling i think that she was trolling i think that she was trolling sorry i had to reset my assistant just got here and there's a lot of work to be done today unlike jesse who just sits at home and does nothing and uh, let her husband do all the work here we go oh my god um okay uh okay well i completely disagree with what rich said there i don't think she was trolling i think she actually wasn't allowed to leave her house um i think it was very weird um, I've never seen that clip before until now. You don't think she's addressed it? Yeah, so her chat told her to go look at the moon because it was really cool, and her mom wouldn't let her leave the house. It hurt something about her having, like, bells on her door, and then, like, there was one when she opened the door, which it could be, like, a trinket or something, you know what I mean, that she just has on the door, but plenty of times on live, like, her parents, or her mom specifically, have gotten, like, upset when she, like, leaves the room at a certain hour, it's like, go back to your room, it's like, that's what the moon thing was, too. Yeah, it was like, she wasn't allowed to go step outside to look at the moon because her mom was like, no, you're not allowed to go outside. Regardless of what's happening, that's fucking weird. Like, she's not 12. She's not even 20. She's, how old is she? She's older. Well, you know what it reminds me of? Jesse reminds me of, like, that old lady who is so shocked that people are doing things on the internet for attention. Like, it, it very much is, like, oh, meanwhile, she does things like that, too, by talking about it. The whole thing is very, like, Jesse, I'm telling you, watch it. Because she's gonna mess up. Just watch, just watch. Then you have to wonder, like, if it's being controlled, when she can literally, like, walk out of a property that she's living in, like, what else is being controlled? Right, so this is a video of her and her mom. How is your, your mom okay? What? I mean, again, it's like, I don't think anything Jesse or Lily are saying here is, like, they're talking about a clip that has not been addressed, from our knowledge, about Eugenia not being allowed to leave the house to look at the fucking moon. So them saying, what else is she not allowed to do, or what else is she told to do, is a valid thing. So I don't necessarily know if if Rich or Jeffrey could ever have a response to that, because that's, like, that's a valid point. Like, if, if you're not allowed to go look at the fucking moon, what else are you allowed or not allowed to do? Like... Watching you built away. She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she is. She plays these videos to garner sympathy, to pull in her audience. It's like we already see, like, you, everything, even, not even this part, even further, you're not even getting to how you really feel yet. Because you're going to see how she really feels. She's just playing this to shock the audience, to make up, oh my gosh, she's so thick. Oh, her mom's like, that's what she's doing here. Because if she cared about Eugenia, she would have let in with the police documentation that we have in this video. Which even then, she has a problem with the article who wrote it, and she has a problem with the police officer who left the statement. It's like nothing, it's like, it's like you're just watching someone constantly complain. That's this. That's what this podcast is. That's what it is. It's no no respect. It's no. Let me give this person their flowers for this. It's nothing. It's like I'm just gonna sit here and complain the whole time because my life is miserable. Give them their flyers. Wait, Jesse and Lily have to give their flyers to Eugenia Kinney. What? I have nothing better to do, and my husband don't love me, and I'm annoyed and bored housewife. That's what he's giving this whole podcast. She's very jealous and bitter that people are passing her up, making more money than her, and just complaining the whole time. Here we go. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She needs to be skinny mini, but she doesn't. Exactly. We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. Thank you for showing your bitch with auto. Exactly. I also... So that's a clip of Eugenia's mom calling her a skinny mini and someone that does take care of herself, if you didn't hear it. But there is footage and like picture. Like Eugenia didn't. It's not like she has some rare condition where she's always looked like this. Like she one hundred percent has looked right there. I have an issue with what she said. It's not like she has some rare or condition that she always looked like. You don't know. And then here's what where I feel like Lily puts her foot. In. Oh, sorry. No. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it was just the light in the camera. Oh, okay. I want to hear you. Tell your story. Okay. Um, I've never heard you say a that you like have or had a problem, right. and b what it is. Okay. Yeah. So I think maybe starting there, if mm -hmm. that's not too hard. Yeah, I think that I think that should be okay. Um, so yes, um, I was like dealing with an eating disorder. Um, Again, the only reason I'm showing that clip is because like it has been put put out there, and and you know. Absolutely, and I guess everyone's definition of like healthy is different. So we're not like, but this is literally and like not. This is not to come for her. Like physically, like is she pretty? Is she not like nothing like that? She is physically right now, literally skin and bone. You can see her entire skeleton. That is not okay. Another thing is that she's like coughing. She's having coughing fits, which could be a sign of congestive heart failure. The video that she played with her mom, she that was an old clip. The video of her coughing, old clip. 
I mean, but she's not giving no context into the dates. Because for all the viewer knows, that happened yesterday, that happened tonight, that happened literally today. But she's not giving that. She's painting this picture that Eugenia Cooney is still coffee, that Eugenia Cooney is still with her mom in the bedroom. Like she's, not, she's not giving any timestamps or any dates. It's so unthorough that she's just manipulating the audience. Okay, as, as someone who... I don't know how many people were here whenever I was kind of giving my little prologue into where I'm at with Eugenia Cooney. I don't know. I just think that... I think that the, I just don't like how he, whether he agrees with it or not what they're saying like you know here she was having a coughing fit or here her mom is you know disproving that she has an ED or whatever like this he's like well she doesn't they were so long ago you know she's fine now and stuff like this it's like there was a time on the internet whenever I was you know really try my best to just like be really fucking nice to her and because she was being really nice to me and everything I talked about at the start so I'm not going to rehash it but it's like I think that's fine but I think to like justify it or like make excuses for it or something is just like I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard to be careful with what I'm saying here, but I just throughout this entire thing, like I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to just be like, you know what? They made a podcast talking bad about Rich. Rich can respond, and that's fine. Um, but I, I just don't like whenever they're they're showing clips that are. Very much so showing something wrong. And then Rich is like, well, that was very long ago. You know, that was ages ago. Kind of implying that, oh, well, that's not what it's like now. And it's like, yeah, well, it's probably worse now. So it's like, I just don't think it's like, yeah. You can be very kind to anybody and stuff like that. But it's like, you don't need to ever lie on their behalf or you don't need to whatever. And it's like. Ugh, I'm trying so desperately to like be very careful here, but it's like I just think it's incredible. I think this is the most irresponsible thing if I'm being honest. I think I kind of spoke about my boundaries whenever it comes to Eugenia Cooney and talking about EDs and stuff, but for me it's like I will happily sit here and, and be like we've had positive encounters and you know i really do wish the best for her and all like this but i would never want to sit down here and and justify anything to do with her or i would never ever try to make excuses for her and it's like i would like my existence with eugenia cooney to be wishing her well and hoping she's doing great and i hoping she's having a good day and enjoying hopefully the hello kitty game on the Apple Arcade, which I know she probably loves, and that, you know, she's enjoying her TikTok lives and all like this, but I, I would never, ever, ever, could I, you know, sit here and say, you know, well, everything everyone's saying is bullshit, or, oh, those videos are fucking ages ago or whatever like that. I, I can't do that. It's like, I would rather just sit here and be like, I hope the bitch is doing well. I hope she's enjoying her Hello Kitty. I hope she's enjoying her Sanrio. I love her fucking teddies and stuff like that. I hope she's doing well. Hope she, you know, like all these different things. But it's like, I'm never ever going to sit here and, and, and just do that. At this point, for clicks, for views, to be drama, to be dramatic. And then we'll get into that in a minute, what she says about drama challenge. Because God forbid she gives anybody kudos or credit. Like, Jesse to me, I don't I, 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 I have anything to say, but fuck Jesse. That's all I gotta say about her. I guess I'm like coughing like crazy. Sorry, because a second ago my throat was like getting really irritated. Oh, no, I gotta change the battery on my camera. That's how draining Jesse is. No, we can unpack the boxes and, and then just put it, yeah. And then email the sponsors for November and then let them know, yeah, you already know. And then tell Fox News I will do the segment. I'm like, Jesse's know anything about that. But she's gonna hate on that too. She hates on everything I'm freaking do. All right, so guys, where I leave off at, I have a, for those who don't know, I recently just moved. We have a new work studio that we work out of. We report the news. We do. Okay. We're gonna end it there. This goes on for another like hour and a half 
But we're going to end it there. I did say we were going to watch a little bit and kind of get a, a taste of it. Um, if you want to watch the rest, go over to Rich Lux's new video um, and you can find it over there. Um, all love to Rich. All love to Jesse and Lily. All love to Eugenia. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. Um, I kind of feel like I've said all I have to say on this and I, I really do. I know that a lot of people wanted me to talk about this. I appreciate the people were curious to, to hear my thoughts on it, but I really don't have anything else to add other than that. I really don't have anything else to add to this specific topic. Um, I just hope she's happy and But I, I can't add any more than that. I, I can't. So I'm going to leave it there. Oi.